Nepal's government efforts has left people with little and modern ones have been cracked or have fallen over the hill. Houses flattened, people in desperate need of any help and wondering where to start picking up pieces of their lives only gets bigger. Bharat is trying to pick pieces of his life, whatever is left of crumbles with everything else. All I was concerned while I was digging this whole thing was to find out my photo album because I don't care about much about the property but the memories attached with it is so painful. Family house too. It was all they had. Every house has a tale to tell. We don't know how to survive. Now we don't have anything now here. Everything what, what we in, own in our life, everything has gone. Amrit was in fields with his family when his house, and that's the reason his family is safe. All were as lucky though, in the neighboring, even though it will be a long journey ahead. Everybody in the village is living in this camp. After a week, this area is still short of tents, food supplies and medical aid. All injured are being treated in this field hospital. The district hospital was broken down by the earthquake. At the seventh day of the earthquake occurring in this district, now the foreign agencies like uh, Norwegian Red Cross, they are uh, building the field hospital here now. I, and I, I hope it's going to be better now. And thousands of people are still unaccounted for. Some of these outlying villages have not had any support for since the earthquake. Uh, they've got a number of casualties. With our medical support, we'll be able to assist them. Humanitarian aid has started to reach the area, but not enough for the sheer size of the tragedy. Over 2,000 people have lost their lives in this district alone. Sindhupal Chowk is a district, and we made our way to the last village that was accessible. The mud houses were destroyed.